oral language involves speaking and listening. Even the ability to think about our world and how it works is part of oral language. You'll look at the top of the pine trees, you'll see them up there. Oral language supports the comprehension of reading by learning and using new words in conversation. No, I'm doing the puzzle, you're doing the Legos. No, watch it now. I'm gonna make me in the garden play a seeds on my blue metal. Look, look at the little tippy toe. Right here. Right here. It's a mouse bunny. i show you the difference here. Isn't that that one's growing. Isn't that male? This one's growing. Got it? That's, that's and not that's, male. that's even bigger. So Isn't that, that means male. that plants Isn't do not grow. Male. That one's Plants do grow. Understanding words orally is essential to being able to understand words in print. Oral language is a process that is developed by using it and will make a significant difference in children becoming successful readers and writers. Big bite, little bite. Good. It's important to have specific learning goals around oral language that engage children in meaningful conversations throughout the day. We just read about that this morning, didn't we? One of the ways to do this is during center time. Do you want to be the florist? All right, you got to sell flowers. Let's watch as several teachers join in pretend play with children. Their objective is to interact with children and encourage conversation. Well, does it have a good CD player in it? It does. It's fixed? How, okay, so I need to pay you? Oh my, I didn't bring my checkbook. Can I bring, can I come back and pay you later? Yes. What are we going to see when we jump out of the spaceship? Can I do it too? Yeah. What do I need to wear? You need some help with that? Are you going to be our cook today at the Zoom Zoom Cafe? What are you cooking up? What's going to... Meat? What kind of meat? Are you? Am I? Are y'all open? Can I uh, go ahead and order? Okay. I see today that your special is fried chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy. It costs ten dollars. It says five ninety five on there. It's okay. I don't mind paying ten dollars. If it's really good food and it comes with all of that, children need a lot of practice in using language. There are many opportunities to do this throughout the school day. Apples, sugar. And then I put it in this pie crust and I stuck it in the oven for about an hour. And look what it turned out to be. And you caught a ladybug in your net, didn't you? I didn't know I did. You didn't know you did? I didn't see. What else? What other kind of bugs in here that you're going to catch? What are you going to make? Um, the same thing I did over there. What was it? Um, the story about me and my mom and my dad and me when okay. I was big and my sister played in the rain. Oh, okay. You're gonna ride. You're gonna make it rain. No. Who's at your house, Emma Ten? Haley. Haley's visiting. That is fun. You know what that is? That's a ladybug. Isn't she pretty? Ladybug. You know what she's doing with her pencil? What is she doing? What is she doing with her pencil, though? When you, when you take your pencil and do like this, you make the pencil. Is she drawing? She's drawing. It's important to encourage conversation by listening to children and waiting for opportunities to extend on what they're saying. You have a paint at home? Do you have a paint at home? What do you paint? You paint your name. I hope you don't paint it all over the house, do you? <laughs> My little boy, when he was little, he had a habit of painting all over the house. Painting on the wall. Your baby sister does that? Yeah, I'll shut up. And I get some. On your bed? Oh, Children learn the meanings of many new words from listening to those around them and through conversations. It's important to take opportunities to embed new words and meaning for those words during these conversations. 
So I think I like her quote. You know what a quote is? That's telling me how much it may cost to fix my car. You won't get hurt. It's your protection. It protects you. That's and good. This is if I hear something loud. Oh. And it's still back in my helmet back in. That's what it is. So these protect your ears if you hear something loud. Okay, safety first, right? It's an egg. You know what an insect is? Okay. Like a bug? Children rely on their observations and interactions with the world to learn the meanings of new words. Those are actually come off the pine trees. If you look at the top of the pine trees, you'll see them up there. Or a grasshopper. You think we might find a grasshopper? Let's look for some insects. Oh, look at this. Look at that. They come out of that pine tree. Remember, when having conversations with children, the greater the variety of language experiences a child is exposed to, the greater the child's language ability. Most important, be sure to provide lots of opportunities for children to talk. Where are we headed, Captain? We're headed to outer space. We're already, that was a quick trip. How long does it take to get there? Um, about one minute. Wait, about one minute. Wait. It is 100 hours. 100 hours or one minute? Mm. What do I need to put on here, Ashley? Do I need to say what's wrong with it or what? Say what's wrong with it? Did I run out of, not have any gas either? Oh my. Are you gonna put some in there for me? Did you fill it up at the gas station? You'll find additional information on how to plan for oral language throughout the day in the Read About It section of the workshop series.